Police are investigating a string of robberies at 7-Eleven stores that have spanned several days and neighborhoods. Police believe the crimes may be connected. WGN's Eric Rung is live in the West Loop with more. Eric. Well, good morning to the both of you. At least four 7-Elevens were hit on Tuesday. Five were hit overnight. Chicago police saying that they involved at least two teenagers, possibly two men in their early 20s with guns. Now, the robbery spree overnight began around 1 and ended shortly before 3.30 this morning. The first one happening here at Monroe and Morgan in the West Loop. Now, along with the cash from the register, they also took a customer's keys to a Jeep and they left in it. About about a half hour later, suspects matching the same description robbed another 7-Eleven in the 500 block of West Grenshaw. Then they were seen leaving that robbery in the Jeep. Now, just before 3 this morning, the same set of circumstances played out at a store in the 3700 block of North Broadway. And again, about 20 minutes later, in the 2700 block of West Tui. The last one, <clears throat> excuse me, overnight happening just minutes later in the 6800 block of Northwestern Avenue. This is on on top of the four hit Tuesday, I talked with Julie Darling, who is with the West Loop Community Organization. She says people living in the West Loop are now not just frustrated by the crime anymore. Now it's really turning to anger because people feel helpless. Uh, they don't know what to do. They don't want to look over their shoulder. And the only thing that we can do to really help the police department catch people, have cameras installed on your building. It's not a privacy issue. Like, help the police do their job and get more eyes on the streets. Now, there are a number of surveillance cameras both inside and outside the 7-Elevens that were hit. Chicago police saying that the suspects, however, were wearing hoodies and masks. However, they may be able to get some leads from that video. We are live in the West Loop this morning. I'm Eric Rump, WGN News.